Hello and welcome to this new tutorial on EMGU CV series and I'm going to show you how we can perform multi-scale template matching. In previous video I have already shown you the problems with the template matching that we need uh, to have the same scale uh, for the template to match and uh, now to, to little improve that we can perform the multi-scale matching and uh, let's see how can we do that. I already configured this project in the last video and I showed you uh, how we can perform the template matching, simple template matching and uh, now I just want to do a multi-scale uh, template matching for, for example I'm writing like this so maybe our template matching let me write so let us see how can we do that so double click on it and the first thing first I always use this dry cage so I just need to use message box CX dot message okay and uh, the first thing that I want to make sure that there is an image in my picture box dot uh, image is not equal to null. It means uh, I assume that we are selecting the template from the picture box and uh, then we are uh, applying it on, on the image and is not equal to null so we can say that if it is equal to null for example i should do something like this if it is equals to null then we, we should return and do nothing and the uh, another thing that we we need to make sure is we have uh, a template also selected because that is also required so I'm saying and the template information is stored in my rectangle that is just the rectangle is equals equals null in that case maybe I should show a message here or no need to show a message it's up to you so if I have a template not selected yet I am just going to return for that and I should have an image of that template or something displayed okay so once I have the I'm sure that my image is there I can uh, get the scene image as uh, earlier we did so just I call this scene, scene is equal to IMG list I have already created a list of images and here I believe that I have an uh, key of input and I'm going to clone it so that I don't want to change the original image and the next thing that I'm going to do is to read the template for, from my picture box so I would just create a bitmap image okay bitmap from picture box one dot image and since I need to perform some EMGU CV operation so I just want to convert it into a BGR image structure and I will use two image so this is the template and which I'm going to search in my uh, image scene. So here is the multi uh, scale logic. What I want to do is if I change the size of my template, reduce the size and search it, increase the size and search it, then uh, I believe that it might be possible to find out uh, my templates if the size is not same as the original template so let us uh, find out I need a rectangle to find the size of the my final size of the what we say the template or the match at what scale it actually match so I just call it rectangle is equal to maybe I can create a, an empty rectangle first not empty and uh, I want to find out the uh, minimum value minimum value is equal to uh, you can say let me initialize with a very large value floor dot max value so or maybe I should say it global minimum just a name okay so uh, now I want to create a multi-scale template so I will first maybe reduce the size and then gradually increase the size uh, to some predefined value so I just want to run a for loop and I need a scale so I just create a float I call it a scale 
and uh, for I just want to start with uh, 50% so the original image uh, template will be reduced uh, by its size by 50% and apply the template and then see and uh, it's up to you how much scale you want to do let's say I just want to go from this point five percent to maybe one point five zero percent or equals to so first i will reduce the size and how much increment do i need not a plus plus of course it's too much so i just want to increment by 0.25 for example so it is essentially doing something like maybe you need to put an f here so what I'm doing, I'm just reducing 50% uh, of the size and uh, then we are going till 1.150% uh, of the size of the original template and uh, with, then we will be doing 25% increase in size. So and then again we are doing the same template matching as we discussed before. So the first thing that I need to do is now resize this template. So how much resize? reduce it then gradually increase it and go till 150 percent of the original size in hope that i will be able to find the template but again i said this might work and this might not work but if you are uh, if you think that uh, your templates or your problem can be solved in this way you can adopt it otherwise uh, the feature matching will be the best approach okay so we will template dot resize i want to resize my template by the scale current scale so that initially it will be reduced and again uh, for interpolation i'm using cubic so uh, this is the scale value first time it will be 50.5 it means we reduce the size 50 percent next time it will be 0.75 so we reduce 0.75 and the third time it will be again incremented it will be one it means it its size will not change so the template size will be the same okay so next what i want to do is we need an image out uh, to store the matched templates over there and then now i invo invoke the uh, match template method and uh, match template not shapes so in this one is expecting my input image so this is the scene image where i'm going to search for my template and this is the template that i'm going to search and i want the results to be in img out and which method are you going to use it uh, you can choose any of them whichever gives you the best results you will be selecting so I'm using the sum of square differences. I mentioned earlier that if you select the sum of square differences, then in that case, you should be selecting the minimum value from this uh, IMG out to find out the best match. So let me define some variables for minimum value. I just set it to zero and we need a w, uh, double value for maximum. I just set it to zero and we also need two points a min, minimum location and i just create a minimum location point and also find out the uh, maximum location so i point max lock is equal to new location point okay and now we will be using the uh, method minimax uh, method uh, minimax location method which is expecting all these parameters that's why i had to create it but i may not need all of them so uh, we need to give it as a reference variable so i just uh, give out this image first from where we want to find out the minimum and maximum location so you need to write this reference pass by reference so the first for the minimum value second one is parameter is the maximum value the third it also should be a reference don't forget that and also min location it will return the minimum location and reference max location so it will return the maximum location 
or the location where it finds the maximum value. Okay, once we get the values, now it is time to... Uh, now, we have since multiple uh, locations or multiple scales and we don't know uh, which one is the minimum value. So it would be imperative to find out a sort of uh, probability, for example, uh, to measure the uh, maximum probability of, uh, so that I can select the global minimum and draw a rectangle around. I'm not going to draw a scale on all templates. I, I just want to draw on the, the best template. So what can I do is I just can calculate a sort of a probability, you can say. I'm saying what is the minimum value or normalizing it, you can say. And then I'm going to normalize it by some of all the values in my image output. So how can we get the sum of all those values is img out dot, uh, this one has no method uh, get some method so I just need to convert it into uh, a BGR image or a gray image because it will be a gray image okay and uh, depth in bytes and then we can apply this method get some that's why I convert it into BGR image so once I get the sum I need the intensity values of that sum Okay, so once I get the intensity, that is the I sum of the, all the values in my image and I divide it by the minimum just to give it a normalize it. And if this uh, prop, I just give a name prop. Why I, why I give it a name prop, I don't know. Somehow, is less than global minimum, then uh, what can I do is first I update the global minimum. It will be my prop. Prop, okay, not prop. And the rectangle, I just want to draw the rectangle around that region only. So, new rectangle, and it is remember the minimum location because I am find I am selecting the square differences. And again, this will be temp dot size. The size of my template that I want to draw is the size of my template and remember this is the location value okay and that looks okay so every time i look for i just change the scale of my template from 0.5 to 1.5 i am incrementing by 25 percent and then again match or search in the original image and to find out some i'm f normalizing it and finding the minimum value or the best match uh, out of it and once i have i hope that i have the best match and my rectangle is uh, has been set then what can i write here if my r is not equal to null then in that case we can draw a rectangle cv invoke dot rectangle and this is going to be on my scene image i want to draw this rectangle on my scene image this is the rectangle that i want to draw and you can choose any color bgr so blue is 255 and the rest is 00, zero. it means i want to draw a blue rectangle and its width is 3 and then I just want to show this one in my picture box is equal to IMG scene dot is bitmap. Okay, so that is as simple as uh, we did previously. So instead of just applying one template match, I am now applying the template match by rescaling or resizing it. So, but as I said that we are not sure that this multi-scale will give us the desired results or not. So let us test it somehow. This is a multi-scaling means just we are doing the scaling. So let us run it and see. So let us try the multi-scale matching. I'm going to open the same image. 
and uh, I just want to select the region of interest that is this is the template that I'm going to search and get that region of interest so I now I want to resize it maybe I will do a two times resize so this is the template now I'm going to search in my image so let us try the original matching once again to show you so it is saying that my template is somewhere here which is totally wrong this is the template normal template matching so next time i am now applying the multi-scale template matching so at least at least it uh, you can see that not perfect but at least it was better than the uh, normal template matching what actually it did is it is now trying with different scales and the best scale which i just calculated some sort of a normalization and the best scale rectangle has been selected and it is drawn on it and once again as i said this might not be working fine for in for your problems but if you think that your problem has a little bit uh, possibility of solving by applying a simple technique by template matching then uh, you should not be considering a method like feature matching which I will describe in next video and another thing that I would like to comment here is I just use the uh, scale uh, multiple scales but if you want that for each scale I want to test with different rotation invariants uh, and you want a simple technique then you might need another for loop for every scale you might apply four different types of uh, rotations and then try to find it out so it will be interesting for you to try it out but if you are really interested in a good feature matching technique or you want a good matching then in that case we will be discussing in next video how can we apply uh, feature based matching but that is also a little bit costly in terms of computing the features and then matching them and i hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you in the next video